uh, it's this issue of the transgender news that came out uh, the other day. Uh, and I want to reiterate uh, what uh, General Dunford, the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, had said. And I know there's lots of questions out there. Uh, but the military is the military. You operate off of certain processes and sets of orders, etc. So, uh, to date, walking in here, <clears throat> I have yet to receive implementation guidance, implementation directives from the Department of Defense, General Mattis, and uh, we grow up and learn uh, to obey the chain of command, and uh, my chain of command is Secretary of the Army and the, and the Secretary of Defense, right, and the, and the President. So, uh, uh, we will work through uh, the implementation guidance when we get, get it, uh, and then we'll move from there. And to my knowledge, uh, the Department of Defense, Secretary Mattis hasn't received written directives yet. Uh, so I know there's a lot of uh, churn out there uh, about what was said uh, the other day, uh, but that's where we are right now, and uh, General Dunford's exactly right. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll act when we receive uh, directives uh, uh, through the proper chain of command channels, uh, and then we'll uh, evaluate what we have and, and move out from there. In the meantime, he's exactly right. Uh, and it should be no surprise to anyone, but the entire force, the entire chain of command will, always has, will today, and will tomorrow, and always should treat every single soldier, sailor, airman, marine, coast guardsman uh, with dignity and respect for their service and the cloth of our nation, uh, bar none. I'll be candid. There's a variety of issues. This is a complex, I was telling uh, Josh here, this is a complex issue, and there's a variety of challenges out there that we have to deal with. Um, and when we've been working through it, but this is not clean cut either way. So uh, the short answer to your question is uh, yes. Yeah, we've had to deal with problems. We don't get it in the media. We deal with it professionally, quietly, with dignity and respect for the individual and the institution.